Good morning everyone. We are back in Marikina where they're dredging and widening the river and you'll see that so much of the soil has already been removed as part of that. Looks like they're bringing out some equipment here. Is this some kind of laser leveling system? So I just spoke to this gentleman here from DNR. I asked him what's going on with this equipment. They said they're going to mark out exactly where the easement should be. And then So I just spoke to them again and they explained how it works. They have a base station connected to that big antenna and they said it's millimeter precise for GPS. So a lot more accurate than what we have in our cell phones. So the base station collects all that data and then they carry around a rover unit which allows them to mark out each coordinate that was given to them and then they'll stake that out. And then the DPWH will be the ones to dredge or widen the river to those points. I guess the equipment isn't completely waterproof because it looks like they're covering them now with umbrellas. So you see they've got a little computer that tells them the coordinates of this rover unit and then they can mark it out with the stakes. Glad they're holding on to that guy because I was pretty sure he's going to fall in. His friends have some good sense. And there you can see the little wooden spike that they've tapped in and I think they're going to tie some rope to it, some caution tape and I guess this is probably why we didn't see much digging from the DPWH today because they're probably waiting for the DNR to mark this out and then they'll know exactly up to which point they can dig and something I've just noticed, look at the riverbank over there it's full of garbage and it looks like someone dumped it from above into the river the weird thing is, it's only in front of this property here. If you look further along the riverbank, watch, green, 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 green. If you look in the distance there, nice and green, clean. Now this could potentially be a volunteer cleanup area. The only difficulty would be getting access because it looks like private property. And for anyone who's curious, this is how the giant bamboo looks that they planted here. I think they have a lot bigger plans for this, but this is the starting point. Because a lot of people said, hey, you need to build something along the riverbanks to help against floods. And I believe bamboo is one of the options that they've chosen. Actually, further along the riverbank, you will find bamboo growing. Over here, you'll see a security guard collecting some soil for his garden. And actually, I've seen quite a few people coming here to do that. Because the soil is so rich and they're removing so much of it from the river. In my last video, people said they shouldn't let bicycles ride through here. They've actually put tape across the entrance and the uh, exit over there to stop people from coming through. Unfortunately, some people are going around the tape, they're climbing up onto the shoulder here. It's kind of risky because it's so, so slippery here and there's a lot of big machines moving around. Okay, it looks like it's going to take them a while to finalize all these markings. I've actually been here for four hours already, so I think that's enough for today. We can come back another day and see them in action. I just wanted to show you the ongoing dredging, the ongoing widening, and what this project is all about. Of course, it's a lot more than this. There are actions that need to be done upstream, and we can cover those in future videos. But for today, I will say thank you for watching, and see you next time.